depending on the day that you are born means if i look at actually the uh, year month day and hour pillar each person is born on a different day okay then depending on the day element that they are born you will have different nobleman stars or different kinds of academic prosperity stars uh, that we will have we are not actually going to go into many of the other different stars right now because i think at the moment what we want to do is actually really focus to see number one how do we take steps to help ourselves number two how do we find people who can help us do better actually in 2022 especially the second half of 2020 and proceed on to 2021 so these nobleman star for this person for example is basically um, rabbit and snake so what i would like you to do is look at your own chart right now and take a look as to whether do you see under the row nobleman star the animal branches okay that's in there is it in any of your parts chart quite a few say no so even if there isn't don't worry i will, will teach you how to look for someone who can help you during this period of time now let me just explain what it means to have this nobleman star in your chart if you see the nobleman star okay the animal branch in under your year pillar we call this uh, because there's a heavenly stem and there's an earthly branch this entire column we call it the year pillar this is the month pillar the day pillar and the hour pillar so for those who actually have the nobleman in the year branch what it means if you rem recall earlier on i said that the year represents actually your outer environment, the greater uh, company environment, your circle of friends. So you will generally be able to find nobleman help or helpful people who will give you advice in your circle of friends in the greater company environment. Now in this example, the snake, which is one of the nobleman star, is actually in the month uh, pillar. So this basically means that they will usually receive help at work. So they, if you are looking at why are some people having a lot of helpful people in their career and doing very well in career, it's because they probably have the nobleman star in their monthly branch. And this person also has a rabbit, which is another uh, nobleman star in the day. So they would be getting help actually from your spouse, from your siblings, from your peers, from your co-workers and if it is actually in the hour branch that means you receive help or advice from people younger than you your subordinates your children uh, so that's how you can actually utilize the nobleman star a lot of you said that your chart does not have it so what happens if your chart does not have it there are different ways that we can actually activate for helpful people or mentors but you must also remember when we say helpful people or mentors, it does not necessarily mean that it's always a good feeling. Yeah, because sometimes we learn best when we fail. So the nobleman may come in the form where they scold you, but you learn a great lesson from it. The key is you learn from the whole session. OK, so now first, just now I mentioned, look for the nobleman star within your chart and see which pillar it is in so that you know whether you have or you do not have the next that you can look at is look for it within the animal horoscope of your family friends or colleagues meaning if for example you have the nobleman star uh, like we use the same example the snake but you don't see it actually within your parts chart okay then what you do is you look for people who are born in the year of snake for example so then how would this person be able to help you so in this case if your nobleman star is actually the snake and it's not present within your chart look for people born in the year of snake and because it is their year make reference to what i mentioned earlier it will be their circle of friends who will be helpful to you yeah so remember it's not the person who is born in the year of snake that will be helpful to you 
but it's the person, if you find that they are born in the year of snake, then look for their circle of friends, get to know their circle of friends because their circle of friends would be of help to you in terms of whatever that you do. If you see the nobleman star, okay, in their month pillar, then from a career perspective, they will be able to help you in terms of advice, in terms of maybe making referrals, in terms of helping you in your job or getting you to advance further in your career. Now, how do you then know whether they are born in the month of snake, for example? So one way is you memorize the 12 animal horoscopes in terms of the months where they start. Like, for example, we start in February, that's uh, the tiger. Or you have some parts of knowledge because some of you do have some parts of knowledge and have studied, then you will know which month represent which animal horoscope. If not, then go ahead, calculate their parts of chart. So long as you have their year, month, and day of birth, you will already know. But if you are looking at actually the month of snake, it's usually for those people who are born in the month of May. Then when you calculate their parts of chart and you see that their day pillar is actually that of the snake, okay? Um, using the same example, the snake or your nobleman star, then they personally will be able to guide you and mentor you to grow as a person, not so much from a career perspective, but to help you grow as a person. So it depends on what you want to achieve when you're looking for the nobleman. Remember the saying, opportunities and mentors will appear when you are ready for it. So if you are not ready for it, there's no point just searching for them and you don't take any actual steps to ask them for help. When we take the study of Ba Zi, it is very important to remember the Ba Zi, understanding it is actually giving us more awareness. It is giving us optics as to how to improve ourselves. Times has changed so much from the older application of Ba Zi, where you say if you're going through favorable period, or you're going through your wealth period, wealth will come. It, it no longer stands. You have to build the skills because things change too fast. So whatever that I'm sharing with you today is to give you better awareness, better optics so that you can prepare yourself. If the person has your nobleman star in the hour pillar itself, then their subordinates or their actions will help you. I see qu quite a few questions coming in, so I'm going to try and see whether I can answer some of them. What if nobleman star same as year? Means if you are asking as in the year, let's say for example, this is the year of the rat. And this year, your nobleman star is rat. And this year is the year of the rat. So therefore, this year would be a year where it is not difficult for you to find mentors and helpful people so long as you ask for it. Okay? But also beware of what you ask for because the more you ask, the busier you can get as well. So that's what it means if it is actually uh, the nobleman star is in the year. Someone put in then, I'm confused. Hence, for nobleman star ox, I need to look for ox or ox friend. Yes, you need to look for those born in the year of ox and those born in the year of ox, their circle of friends can be helpful to you. But in what aspect do you want them to be helpful to you? That's for you to decide, okay? To clarify, Elizabeth asked to clarify, to enhance career, I should seek help or partnership with people born in the year of the animal horoscope as the year animal of mine. No, Elizabeth, what I'm mentioning here is these are animal horoscopes that can be of help to you. But whether they are a good partner for you in terms of work, it's actually dependent on the different kind of profiles, the different kind of experience, the different kind of orientation. The nobleman star here that I'm mentioning, it's actually meant more as a guide as someone who can help you when you reach out for help. So for instance, if I'm actually trying to run this webinar, I do not know much about IT and I really would like to learn, but I really do not know where to go about doing it. So by asking a nobleman help or looking for someone born in the year of Ox, 
maybe their circle of friends, there will be someone who is very good in IT skills who then will be willing to come forth to help me. So that's what it means by nobleman. It's not really partnership because we are talking about partnership is a quite a long-term thing. So this is not really that long-term. This is really like, who can you seek to get help from? There's a question also, do you seek help with horoscopes that are not your buddies, though the Pazi says like rooster and rabbit clash? That's actually, remember, in one person's Pazi chart, there are four animal horoscopes. So the external clash may not necessarily mean and that you cannot work with the person. It may mean maybe at the beginning, you don't like the person because the year, the year pillar is actually where the person sees you right at the beginning. So it's not really the case. And whether you can work with someone or you cannot work with someone at times, right? If you are in a team, uh, this is what I teach. It's not really about whether you have conflict or not. It's whether your skill sets are complementary. If you are someone who is action oriented and you do not usually like to do a lot of the research analysis kind of work, then the having a partner or a team member who is more analytical oriented would be better for you in moving forward. But because the person is analytical oriented and you are action oriented, will there be conflicts? Of course you'll be, there will be conflicts, but would your work proceed well if you learn to be aware of each other's orientation, each other's characteristics, and then move on from there, then you definitely will do much better. So that's how you should be looking at partnership, not about compatibility or parts. We don't use that in this modern application anymore, especially from a work perspective. Okay, I, I think it's important for you to understand that as well.